Welcome back to our message from our divine compassionate guides. Thank you as always for joining me. I hope today's message will help you and serve you in the most divine and appropriate way. Today I am pulling from the Rose Oracle cards by Rebecca Campbell. And as you notice, I have three cards, so let's find out what our message is for today. So our first card here, trust the seasons. Embrace change, cycle of life, transition, and growth. So that's where we're really coming from, is trusting these seasons, trusting the change coming. Our next one, where we are at this moment, kind of right at this moment, the wild rose. Do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness untamed. And then our last card here for this morning, afternoon, day, the breathing rose. Heart healing, emotions, connect, connection, and time eases. Wow. So let's take a moment. Let's just look at these beautiful cards. Just notice whatever might come up. And then as you exhale, allow yourself to get centered, releasing being open to the message. And let's dive into what we're being guided for today. So when we come into our first card, trust the seasons, this is really about the more we try to control things and keep them the same, the further away we get from the flow of life and ourselves. So this is really telling us that Whatever's happening, so right now there's a lot of chaos, and the more we try to hold on to the old, it's, it's going to drag us down. It's not going to benefit us holding on to the old, how things were. We are, in a tr we are in a change of the season. We clearly are. And this is time that we really need to trust um, and stop resisting the change. You know, I've been hearing God is here. Our, our divine consciousness is here to support us. We need to be able to trust that there is a cycle, a growth, and that we are being supported. And that if we fight the cycle, it's just going to make us unhappy. And then we come to the wild road. So that's where we are at this moment, kind of where we are. And this is really about doing everything our way, being that uniqueness. So really, the nature is full of diversity, and it's important for our survival. So we need to trust the season that things are, you know, changing, and we just have to go with the flow. But we need to also know that it's imperative for us to adapt to be full of diversity, to be ready to do the different things, embracing our uniqueness. Um, you came to be here to be you and express what you came here to express. This card comes with the invitation to do what makes you feel most free. So as we get right here, we're changing seasons. There's a lot of pressure I can feel like they want us in a new lockdown. They want us feeling trapped back, like, they, like we're stuck in that system. But this is our call that at this moment that we need to like do what makes us feel most free. Like whatever they're saying does not necessarily mean we need to do it. We need to find our freedom, however that is, however that is. And then as we continue and go into the breathing rows, where we're going, this is the deep heart healing. We're going to heal by doing what we need to do, doing it our way, finding our way to be freedom. We are going to heal ourselves. We're going to find that connection and time will heal the wounds that we've been given through this very sick cult. Sure. Like it's such a sick cult. So really we need to trust that there is this change and we probably don't like it. That that's a human nature. We've been programmed that you don't like change. You want to know what's going to happen. You want stability. You don't, you know, that whole thing. So this is the thing where we're, we're going to have to let go of that. We're going to have to find our way to finding our own internal freedom, our own uniqueness to make it through this time of change. And we will heal and we're going to be better in the end. The time will ease. We're going to be happier and more healed at that end. So this is really just advising us that as we go through this, as these times get a little more chaotic, just trust your uniqueness. Trust yourself. Trust the ability to manifest. One thing I've come across is I've manifested before in my life, and I didn't really understand how I completely did it. I knew I was using certain techniques, but I didn't know what techniques were the key. 
And I came across, because, you know, divine timing is everything. When you follow and really trust your guides and put out there, the messages come. We know this. We've heard this message. So I came across Jose Silva's mind control program. This is something I, first off, based on how I came across it, I was actually willing to listen to it. When I first get mind control, it kind of triggers me, makes me not maybe interested. But as I've been listening to this book, I realize I've been doing a lot of the key components and that was how I was able to manifest. So we really need to come back to embracing the change. Maybe we need to step back, find those intuitive things that come and show themselves. So I'm looking at this Jose Silva mind control program, and I'm going back into this meditation and this process to manifest what I want to manifest, doing it my way so I can create a stress-free connection in the realm. So when you ask for things, it will appear. We are being told, just trust. Divine consciousness, guide, God, source is behind us. And it's going to be wild. You're going to have to do things your own way. I feel like that is really where we're, how we're going to survive these coming months is doing things your own way. And in the end, we are going to heal. We are going to become better and connected. But the only way it's going to happen is by embracing yourself and doing what you need to do. I hope today's message helps, heals, and serves. And until tomorrow, namaste.